push to resume indoor dining lands in federal court this morning. The Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association has filed a lawsuit against Robert Gordon. He's the director of the state health department. The MRLA says it offered to reduce restaurant capacity to 25% and implement a 10 p.m. curfew. But instead, indoor dining was forced to take a three week pause to help slow the spread. Now the association fears as many as 40% of restaurants could close because of the financial impact. The MRLA will ask a federal judge to take a step in its favor this morning at 10 a.m. Another key battleground state confirms Biden's victory over President Trump. Wisconsin officials completed a recount of the votes last night. Dane County reported a 45 vote gain for the president, while Milwaukee County reported 132 more votes for Biden. The president-elect won the state by nearly 20,600 votes. President Trump vowed to challenge the outcome in court. A good Monday morning. The heaviest snow from this uh, complex system will stay just off to our east, but we're still being affected by it, impacting Metro Detroit with a winter weather advisory that starts at 3 o'clock this afternoon. It goes until uh, noon tomorrow for most of Metro Detroit. Now, if you're north of Detroit, if you're in Lapeer, Sanilac, or St. Clair County, it actually goes until 4 o'clock for you tomorrow afternoon, and that's because you're going to see more in the way of accumulation. Starting out as more of rain or rain snow mix this morning, changing to all snow from today through the day tomorrow. Most areas about two to four inches, those higher amounts to the east, and then a little bit more to the north could see three to six inches through the thumb.